Hello, this is Dr. Gil Wilshire, Missouri Fertility in Columbia, Missouri. I've had a bunch of emails today. This is uh, December 10th, 2019. A bunch of emails asking me a question about a recent article that, that just came out. Uh, this article states that there was a man who underwent a, underwent a bone marrow transplant for a cancer of some sort, and now his semen analysis shows DNA from his donor. And the, the question is, how can the DNA from his donor now be in his semen? And the uh, inference is that it's now in his sperm cells. Well, I'm going to explain to you why this probably has happened, and I'll give you an explanation. Now, in order to understand this, you need to know how sperm are produced. Sperm are produced in the testicle in tiny little tubes. And they come from cells called germ cells. And these germ cells start out in the periphery. And what they do is they divide and mature and they work their way into the center of this tube. And once you're in the center of the tube, you have turned a germ cell into a mature sperm cell. Now these sperm cells get in these tubes and they all come together. And eventually they leave the body about three months after they're produced. Now when sperm leave the body, they are then mixed with fluids from something called the seminal vesicle, prostate gland, the Kalpler's gland, and some other little secretions, and then you have semen. What you need to understand is that semen is generally only 2% sperm cells. Okay. Now, the answer to this puzzle or this riddle comes from the history of uh, uh, this man's clinical condition. He had some type of cancer and he required a bone marrow transplant. In order to get a bone marrow transplant, you need to get rid of all the healthy bone marrow cells in the body. This means he received super high dose chemotherapy and radiation and it killed every rapidly dividing cell in his body that was vulnerable and that includes his germ cells. So after men have a, are prepared or have a bone marrow transplant, they almost universally have no sperm cells in their semen. So this is the answer to the riddle. This gentleman no longer has uh, germ cells in his testes, therefore he no longer has sperm in his semen. So when you do a DNA test of the semen, all you're getting is something called seminal plasma, and the DNA in the plasma is in fact probably coming from white blood cells. Uh, these DNA tests are very sensitive, and you don't need a lot of DNA to be able to get a positive uh, result that is testable and typable to the donor. So this man now has white blood cells that came from his donor in his semen, and DNA tests of his semen will show the DNA of his donor. The DNA is not in his sperm cells because there are no sperm cells in his semen. So that is the answer to your question. That's why his, his uh, genetic testing of his semen shows the DNA of his donor, and that's the reason none of his DNA is detectable in that test. I hope that uh, piece of current events is interesting for you. This is Dr. Wilshire at Missouri Fertility.